In today's video, I got a fun and dangerous project for us to play with. We are going to be photographing matchsticks that are being lit on fire. Now in this video, we are going to be playing with fire. So again, take precautions. You don't want to burn any of your equipment. You don't want to burn yourself and again use ventilation so you can get rid of the fumes. I am not responsible for any damages or injuries that you cause yourself by following along with this video. I am not telling you to do this, I am merely showing you this creative project. So for us to do this project we are going to need a few things but I am going to keep it as simple as possible so I'm not going to be using any advanced hardware. So apart from your camera we are going to need four things to do this. We're first of all going to need some matches. We shall need some plasticine, clay or blue tack, anything to be able to stick the match to the desk. We need a black background and we'll also need a glass of water to put the match into when we are finished with it. The first thing we need to do and probably the most important is to open up a window so we have some ventilation. These matches, they give off smoke, they give off a weird smell that's just not very pleasant. So it is best to have some ventilation. I'm going to place my background over there. And I'm going to start with the plasticine. Now my plasticine is quite cold, so I'm going to need to warm it up. So all I'm going to do is just rub it around in my hand, warm it up. And we are going to stick down onto the desk. Once we've done that, we're going to take a match. And then we are going to put that match into the plasticine. And as for setting up the scene, that is literally all we need to do. So you can just photograph the match as it is like that if you wish to. You can also add objects to the match, just like this image here of a jumping spider on a match. This is the image from my pro tutorial called the complete shot jumping spider on a match. In this tutorial, I go over the entire creation process from start to finish, including the handling of the jumping spider, the scene setup, the photography, and the post processing in Lightroom and Photoshop. If you're interested in seeing how that image was created, then head over to my website at stuartwood.com and check out the complete shot jumping spider on a match. Let's talk about the camera for this project. I'm going to be using my Canon EOS R with the Laura 100mm 2x macro lens. Fantastic lens for macro. And I'll be setting it all up on my tripod. This is my ST224 tripod. Fantastic little tripod. Now what I want is I want my camera to be level with the match. So I'm going to have to lower it down a little bit and just get it completely level with the match. Right, so I'm going to focus on the match now. What I want to try and aim at is something like that where the match is basically up to halfway the frame. Because remember, we're going to have the flame coming up, so we need to have room for that. There we go. We now have the match set up. We now have the camera set up. One more thing we want to do to make things just a little bit easier is to plug in a shutter release cable. So that will enable me to take the picture without having to get my hand underneath to the camera back here to hit the shutter button, which is basically hidden by the desk. So I can just sit here, press the button and take the pictures that I want. Now if you're doing this at home, you might want to add an extra video light just as a backlight or a side light to this. I don't have to because I have my video light already on and I have all these lights all around me. If you find it's a little bit too dark, then that is an option that you can do. Do you want to add a black background? So just simply put in a black background in the back like that. So I'm just going to place that in the background. You will find that that background will be nice and black. Okay, let's set up the camera. Now for this, we want a high shutter speed. We want to freeze the action, but we also want a high frame rate. So we can't use a flash. If I attach a flash to my Canon EOS R, it will drum down the frame rate to about three frames a second and we are going to miss the action. Now for that, what we want to do is just to increase our shutter speed. I'm going to go to about 4000 and these are just ballpark figures that we're starting off with. We can adjust these afterwards. My f-stop, I'm going to set that to 5.6 and the ISO is going to be at 800. So ISO 800. And you see how dark that is now. That's going to get lit by the match. Next, I want to come into my drive mode and I want to set to a high speed continuous. So now when I press down on this button, we're going to get a high speed continuous burst of images that we can put into our computer and edit later. But now what we want to do is deal with the match. So what we want to do, and I need to explain this before we do it, but I'm going to light a match, a separate match with my left hand. With my right hand, I'm going to hold the shutter release cable. And then as I place the match close to the one here, I'm just going to press my finger on the button and hold it down until we get all the frames that we want. Now I'm going to have 
my water standing by so I can put the match into the water when I'm finished with it. So here we go. Are we ready? There we go. So that's fun. That is fun. Just don't burn yourself, okay? We're going to do another one. And for this, because we've changed the match, we need to redo the focusing. So what I need to do is just bump up my ISO so I can see what's happening. Redo my focusing. Then bring back down the ISO. Now before I proceed, I am going to check the images to see what we have. Make sure there's no blown out highlights. We are blown out slightly, but I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so we'll get ready to do another one. Are we ready? Here we go. And again, we put the matches in the water so make sure they're extinguished. We need to do these several times. You have to do it a lot of times to get a really good image that you like. Now with this method, you are going to get a lot of black images. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Lightroom now. We're going to import these images, but every image that is black, we're going to untick so that it's not imported into our library. So here are the images from this photography session. All these images have been edited in Lightroom using my macro presets, and I have used my macro assistant actions for Photoshop to polish up the image. If you're interested in my presets or the macro assistant, then go down below in the link in the description. You can get presets and macro background textures from my website. If you want to have a look at the macro assistant, then please take a look at my Patreon community. So to recap, for these fantastic images, all we needed was a box of matches, some plasticine, a black background, and a glass of water to put the matches in. A fun project for you to try at home. So give this a go if you want to. Again, don't burn your house down, don't injure yourself, and don't die of asphyxiation from fumes. Always open up a window for ventilation. If you want to show me your images, then tag me on social media. I'd love to take a look at them. I want to thank my Patreon community for helping me to bring you this free content, but that's where I shall leave it. My name's Stuart Wood. I'll see you on the next one. And we'll need a glass of water in... I always get tongue-tied all the time. I can't speak English. Maybe bad English. Once we've done that, we're going to take a match out of our matchstick box. A bit obvious, really, isn't it? That wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> it's my match head stuck to the box. Swan matches used to be a really good mate. Now I just think they're the Vauxhall of the match world. So here are some of the images from this photo session. 